Hello everyone. Today we're going to take a look at Wintex new CMT WebView interface. This interface was developed for our CMT X series, which was launched earlier this year. Now I have a CMT 3152X in front of me, and I'll go ahead and get started by opening our WebView interface. Now if you've worked with our products within our CMT series, then you're probably aware of how easy it is to access our CMT web server. And it goes without saying that accessing our X series web interface is just as easy. To open WebView, all we need to do is enter the HMI's IP address into our browser while on a local connection. Once the IP has been entered, WebView, in this case, will open our control interface automatically. This interface will allow a user to control the HMI directly, as WebView is basically a VNC client within your browser. This means that, unlike CMT Viewer, you cannot have multiple operators controlling systems independent of each other, which raises the question, what advantages does WebView have over our CMT Viewer as a form of control? WebView doesn't have the same limitations as CMT Viewer, meaning that certain objects that aren't supported while using CMT Viewer are supported while using WebView. And since WebView offers direct control over the HMI, you can now access and enter the HMI settings menu remotely without using a third-party VNC client. But what makes WebView really useful is the fact that it doesn't require any additional applications to control and access your device when used locally. This makes initial setup a breeze as it's essentially plug and play. While we're discussing remote access, I'd like to mention that WebView is separate from Easy Access 2.0. If you plan on using WebView outside of your local network, you'll need to install Wintex Easy Access 2.0 application and register your device. This is extremely easy to do, and once you're finished, you'll be able to access the HMI from anywhere in the world from within your browser. And of course, this feature wouldn't be complete without support for mobile devices such as your smartphone or tablet. That's why Wintech has placed the painting squares on the bottom left or bottom right of your web page. These are used to move around the screen on your smartphone or tablet and can be moved to either side of the display by selecting the preferred location within the menu located in the top left corner. This menu will allow you to change the zoom level of the control interface as well as allow you to navigate the CMT X series system dashboard. Unlike the traditional CMT web server, the web server from our CMT X series not only allows you to change the current settings but can also display important information from within your project. Our dashboard displays system information such as the current date and time, OS version, running time or uptime, and the HMI name as well. The system tab will allow us to change the HMI's name, date, and time, which requires two separate tabs for our non-X-series CMTs. Just underneath this is our Ethernet settings, which has a familiar interface and is just as easy to use as our non-X-series web server. Next, we have our project tab, which will allow us to backup, update, or restart our HMI project. And one thing that I'd like to point out is that by hovering our mouse over the file icon, we can see our three additional tabs. I'll go ahead and select our email section, which is also reminiscent of our non-X-series email control. In this section, we can update our server settings, add or remove email contacts, or even upload email contact data generated by using the administrator tools application within our utility manager. And much like our original CMT web server, we've retained the ability to update, add, or remove user accounts on the HMI from our web interface, as well as the ability to backup or clear recipe database information from our CMT's web server. Now all of the features I've mentioned so far are very useful and have been for the most part retained from our non-X-Series web server. But our data tab is really where our CMT's WebView interface outshines its predecessor. 
Selecting our data log and trend display will reveal a data spreadsheet sourced from each data sampling object established within the HMIS program. The data within each spreadsheet can be backed up individually by selecting our Export to Spreadsheet button at the bottom of this window. You can also back up this data as a whole by selecting Backup Database, which will generate a compressed zip file of the HMIS DB files. The spreadsheet itself can also be customized within the Options settings or updated by selecting our Refresh button. Switching tabs, we'll take a look at our trend display. The data trend display within our WebView interface can be configured to update automatically and display real-time data. Much like our spreadsheet, this data display is also customizable. As an example, I'll go ahead and change our scaling and then configure this to update automatically. I'll set my X and Y scales to plus and minus negative 5, and then select Apply Settings. And upon exiting, I'll select Auto Refresh, and we'll begin to see our data update in real time. And of course, we can also use our drop down list to display data collected from our other data sampling objects as well. Now, this is obviously a very practical way to quickly navigate through the collected data and back this up in real time. WinTech has also created a similar display for our event information. By selecting Event Log on the left-hand side, WebView will display a data table in which we can easily see important event information recorded on our CMTX series. On the left, we can narrow or widen our search by selecting certain categories or defining a specific date or several days. We can also search our log by using keywords or even change the language in which the log is displayed, assuming you've configured multiple languages within your project. And lastly, our Operation Log can also be backed up from our WebView interface by selecting the Operation Log tab under our Data menu. Next, we'll select our Features tab on the far left and select our WebView Settings menu. This menu will allow us to limit access to our WebView interface by disabling WebView control entirely or establishing a passcode required for WebView client access. Although, for our demonstration, I'm going to leave this as default, and we'll move on to the next tab. Here we have our Easy Access Settings menu, which will display information related to our VPN connection. And we also have our Codices menu. And if our built-in Codices was activated, we would be able to update our Codices project from our WebView interface. And this brings us to our last settings menu, which will allow the admin to configure passwords to control who can update the HMI's project, access the HMI through our FTP functionality, view the project through CMT Viewer, or limit admin access on the device. And that was a somewhat quick introduction of our CMT X Series all new WebView interface. If you found this tutorial helpful and would like to see more, Head on over to our YouTube channel and select the Playlist tab. Feel free to check out our website as well for free demo projects, user manuals, and more. Thank you for watching.